Hey everybody, so I'm picking up a library today. Uh, there's about four bookcases of fancy uh, antique books. Um, it's a really nice house in a good neighborhood. Um, I did get a bunch of boxes, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we have to fill all these up. Um, I don't know, we'll see what I can get in uh, filming and uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully we do pretty well with the books. Uh, the sample I saw, a lot of like 1830s, 1840s books. Um, just wanted to show you this Ajuga coming up right now. Warden Dan! But it doesn't look like uh, I'm gonna get too many. It's not for me. This is really pretty. Uh, I forget the name of this one. But, I did get a couple boxes of antiques we'll go through. Definitely feel, oh wow, can't believe the tree peony is blooming. Looks amazing. Hopefully everybody's being good out there. It's definitely, uh, definitely a nice, uh, Nice spring day here. I'm just looking in the garden to see if there was anything I wanted to offer money on. Squirrel. Every once in a while on these old houses, they, she said that they've been here for 85 years. There'll be something really good hidden in the garden. I just don't see anything except for this guy. I'd love to take a piece of this home, but they have the house already sold. Most of the fern heads are all popped here. This is cinnamon fern. So, Made it back to the warehouse. Um, I went for books, but I did, let's see. I did get a few, uh, but I'm gonna show you the oddball antiques we got first. I spent $200 and I got uh, four boxes of bric-a-brac. I think I'll do fairly well with uh, the stuff from here. This is a really nice uh, wooden trash can. Those actually sell for decent money. Uh, nice early pair of uh, candlesticks with the... I haven't really uh, gotten a ton of money for these. Normally, I'd say I average uh, 25 to 40 bucks. There's no maker mark, but these are smaller. I might actually try these online. Uh, did get a lot of smaller things for online. Little box. I heard something inside it. Just has two little safety pins. It's not marked by anybody. I believe this is McCoy. It is. It's a cool little McCoy dish. That would sell okay. The Lucite. This covered rabbit rabbit dish. It's just a cute little bunny. I'm trying to think if there was anything in the bottom of this box that was. This is really nice amber cut glass. Uh, see the cut grapes in it. I don't see a, a name on it, but it's made really, really well. I'll probably take that to the flea market. I've got a set of these bowls. Most of them have chips, though. 
pair of cloisonne bowls oops marked uh, made in China those will sell I don't know what I'd get for them though made in the USA I'm not sure. it's like a bonsai tray little soap dish this was actually kind of pretty let me see this maybe is a sterling top lid or rim around this cut glass. Um, it looks like it. Not sure what it's uh, what that would go for. I'm looking for a hallmark or something. When they're oxidized like this, it's really hard to see. But to me, it looks like it is. Yeah, it's marked right there. Uh, 925. So, I mean, it's probably a half ounce of silver, if not more. But I think the cut glass bowl makes it nicer. Just trying to get to the bottom. Oh, look, that little covered dish was signed underneath. Um, not actually, I might list it's nice and small. Bunch of napkins. Nice bright spring tablecloth. Another, uh, this I believe is a cigar ashtray. But I, I do like the daisies that are cut into it. I believe this was the first box I packed. bunnies and the cabbage. Nice Easter plate. A little Russian lacquered box. I can't open it. Nice and tight. Another little dresser box. Look how it has the flowers inside. This is actually a nice porcelain box. Thought this was a neat little sewing sewing box with the lady inside. It's got the metallic thread. I actually just took an old cookie tin and uh, looks like they went around or made this uh, cover for it probably in the in the 20s it's kind of fun this was really pretty hand painted uh well, actually, it's enamel. Enamel on glass. I don't know what that's called, but it sure does look pretty. A little piece of pewter. It's just a regular thermometer, but it looks like an old uh, steam gauge. I think this might be sterling also. I don't see a mark though. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it says it's marked sterling. So, two little pieces of silver. Alright, that was box number one. Uh, the tulips made in Italy. I'm going to go put this away and try to show you the other I get actually we have to get to the books
I didn't think much of this. I was thinking it was a dollhouse piece of furniture, but it's actually very, very, very old. Um, it's probably for a little uh, a desk uh, candle. Definitely cool. Nice little miniature candlestick. It's got extra weight to it, also. Nice little bronze casting. Had to show you that before I put it away. I still wanted to see what was in the other boxes before I got to the books. Um, this was all more napkins and table linens. Nothing really amazing in that, but I thought that this uh, tablecloth was a interesting piece of lace. Can't tell, it's probably machine made, but just had a really nice uh, edge. I was hoping that it was hand done, but I can't tell. I don't know, leave me a comment if you think this is hand done or machine made. I'll get a back, black background so you guys can kind of look at it. My guess is it's machine. But the flowers are really pretty. What else was in here? Those are kind of nice. I think there's four of them. Four of the plates. It's all good stuff for the flea market. A little egg strainer. I don't think that one's that old. Nice little flower frog. What's nice is it doesn't have the Made in China stamp on it. In the back, there is these two nice wood bowls. Grab uh, one of the Pyrex mixers. Nice 1950s basket. Thought that was pretty cool. Bunch of little uh, stone eggs for Gabby to sell at the flea market. <laughs> Early piece of computer. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice little iron rim so it doesn't melt when you stick it on the on the wood stove to warm it up. Another white porcelain bird. That one's kind of pretty. Uh, it has a break right there. It's good for the flea market. But just that box left. Well, what is this phase? Eh, nothing special. This was the last box. Little uh, mouse cup. I thought that was kind of cute. A little ginger jar. Made in China. Has the China mark. Uh, I probably from the 60s or 70s. Some of the prettier uh, napkins. Little sets of four with the roses. I like these lace, uh, almost look like Edelweiss, but not quite. Kind of all hand done with on linen.
really pretty. Um, I don't know if I'll list those. They might do okay though. Oh, these were good. Um, I guess this is the sugar. Here's the little teapot, but the little teapot was just, the color was really, really nice and bright. And just Staffordshire, England. A cute little teapot. Not sure what that's for. Oh, and some tiles. Got that one. The happy little lion. Nice little Viking ship. Nineteen sixties apron. Always do well with aprons at the flea market. Uh, almost missed this little daisy Christmas tree. A lot of little breaks on it though. I didn't do that. All right, the books were. Start with the box in the front seat. It's actually kind of kind of nice. These might be the best ones. The complete set. I think it goes two layers down. Um, I think there's about 30 of them. Eighteen sixty six Washington Irving. Definitely a uh, I don't know. I'll have to look this one up. Looks like it. I mean, I just thought for the way it's leathered, it's at least a uh, hundred dollars worth of books, but it could be better. The next box was. Oh, we found these in the. They're old recorders, like the, I don't know what that's worth. It might be, might be worth looking up. Definitely a larger one. The second piece is in, in there. I guess I'll look those up, see what they sell for. Put them back here. yearbook we sell those to I just grabbed this because it had most of the dust jacket I always seem to get five bucks for those I don't know it just look I had that nice gold uh, gold scroll work on them look really really pretty but I think what was better than the books might be the records. Um, they are all classical. Actually, I have two more boxes of books I'll show you real fast. The I figured I made my money back on the four boxes of books that I spent just because of how uh, pretty the, the covers were. And people will buy them for sticking in their library. I mean, I will look up the books and see if they uh, see if they are worth anything. But uh, I know that this is 1894. I'm trying to get to the cover page. Sorry. Um, pr printed in Boston. Just a really, really pretty uh, cover. And then all the little, uh, 
with the gold lettering. Bunch of Shakespeare. I think this set actually might do fairly well. This takes up the whole bottom of the, the box. Let's see what year it was printed, this one. This one was also 1898. But there was one other box underneath this that I'll, uh, I'll show you. The condition on these spines are kind of gone, but they definitely look like a uh, Like they could be something like pre-1860. Printed in Boston. Uh, come on, where's the date? Normally it's right in there, but I'm not seeing it. The little sister. I'll be interested to see how uh, how those are. There's a whole set of, uh, I believe, ten of these, and. Uh, I just thought this cover was amazing with the lion head and all the scroll work, little birds. Nineteen oh three. But oh I forgot all about I got this lamp for the for working in the warehouse or I mean working at the workbench definitely was nice that it had a little adjustable head I mean I definitely could sell it because it's got these really cool little pieces of chrome on it too but uh, all right I'll get to the record so most of the I don't know if any of this is really worth a ton I bet this steel drum is pretty good. Uh, I'll bring that home and look it up. I did see one piece in here though that was that I have seen sell in the past for close to fifty to a hundred bucks. The records are all and they're not scratched. They're pretty they're in pretty good shape. Bring a box and stick those in this box. Always uh, sell records pretty, pretty fast when I get them. So let me look up music there, people. All right, I can see it right now. See it? It says Chinese. That, uh, I think will go for decent money. It was nice that it was in plastic still. There was one other, uh, one other one of those too. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if anybody sees anything in records, if they know classical. Um, send me a message. I figured there would be something for when my kid wanted to make a little bit of dollars, I'd have her look most of this up. I guess the last thing was the, I got this set of silverware. Um, Astro, uh, Japan, stainless, definitely a, a bunch of pieces, probably, uh, 
40 pieces of that. I would think that's an, another 30, 40 bucks. Some nice teaspoons I'll put with my uh, silver, silver plate spoons. So, I don't know. I was just happy to get out. Hopefully, uh, you guys like this video. I definitely had a really pretty garden. Um, and thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, give somebody a call. Might be alone. And everybody be safe out there. Thank you very much for watching. Peace. I'm going to go finish emptying this truck. I did get the red candles to make a... Uh, make some molds for uh, jewelry. We'll see if it if it works.